Hi, all my Harry Potter pals and my Fantastic Beast friends. Guess what time it is? That's right, it's unboxing time. Ooh, ooh, unboxing time. Ooh, ooh, unboxing time. And again, I'm here with another Geekier box. And this is the November edition. Like always, I'm gonna give you guys the first little peek here. All I could see was the red little confetti pieces. Oh, they're red and gold. I think it's supposed to be for Christmas. This is so cute. So normally it's just brown, but look at them. Boop, 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 boop. It kind of makes me think of like the Chinese dragons. So it looks like the first item I have on here was is a tube so i'm guessing there's a print let's see what this print is Ooh, it's upside down let me turn around what is this oh so it looks like it is harry and ron and they're sitting and watching a snow globe that is of hogwarts with santa this is so cute and it has that drip effect that we've been seeing in a couple of the other prints this is really well done i like how this is holiday spirit i want to say though why do they look so sad i mean they're at hogwarts watching hogwarts this also kind of looks like there's a ship right there but why do harry and ron look so sad it's christmas time and at hogwarts and this looks like it is by Cantrell. i forget his first name but i know i'll have that on the cheat sheet i see a little box so I'm going to open that. Oh, this is pretty heavy. I don't know what this graphic design is. It kind of looks like square pumpkins. I think this is their holiday theme box. So I'm assuming it's not a pumpkin related object. <gasps> oh, this is, I believe, the snail stone that I think Hermione has. Comment down below if I'm wrong, but I believe it's from Hermione. Honestly, you could use this, as silly as it sounds, as a paperweight, but this is a great replica. It's more of a green color and it's very texturized. I think it's resin that's been molded. Next item. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get the tea. So this tea this month is the Magical Festivities Tea and it is a festive rooibos infusion. So it has rooibos, cinnamon, blackberry leaves, orange blossom, flavoring, sapphire petals, clove buds, cardamom seeds, and ginger extract. And it doesn't have any things that are allergens because it says it would be in bold, but I don't see anything there. So let me open this up whoop, and smell it. Ooh, I can already smell that it's got a very spicy. Ooh. That does smell Christmassy. It kind of smells like apple cider. And that's a great thing. I love warm apple cider. I can't wait to give this a try. I actually just ran out of one of the other teas. I believe it was the first year tea. I always bring these to work to make tea in the morning. So I will bring this tomorrow and I have a cup. Next item. It looks like I have a pin. But for some reason, I... Do not know what this is for. Let me take it out of the back because I just realized it's just shining up galore on my beautiful camera here with my beautiful light. So this is a pin. I'm assuming this is probably a pin that someone wears to the Yule Ball, but I don't know what this is in reference to, unfortunately. But it is beautiful. It's got hard enamel. It's blue and white. And then it has three yellow stones on the top and then one on the bottom. I'm really sad that I don't know what this is in reference to. See, this is how I'm thinking, that you would have like a blouse um, with a collar and you could just put it right there. Next item is a wearable item. And I'm already wearing my little Niffler headband here, but maybe I will have to swap this out. I am definitely probably gonna wear this on Christmas day. It is a black beanie that says, Accio Christmas. Heck yeah, I want Christmas here to be sooner. I love Christmas and not just because of like the gifts. I really enjoy spending time with my family on Christmas day. We're a family that opens up stockings first and that's probably one of my favorite things to do is to buy stocking stuffers and then to open stockings. Let me put this on. This is so cute and this will look really cute if my hair is down. Right now I kind of look like I might rob a place, but I still like it. it the font, if you can see, is in green and red. I like this. This is super comfy. And I think I'm going to probably be walking around it 
my dog with this in the morning now. I normally wear a Ravens beanie, but I'm gonna put this one on top of the pile so that way I can wear it and feel magical every morning while I'm walking. Let me put my headband on so I don't have all this really funny hair. Next item I got here. So it is a pink Pygmy Puff pillowcase. It looks exactly like the Pygmy Puffs you can buy at the Wizarding World, like the really huge fluffy ones with a small little face and it's got two little blue eyeballs. I would say that I like the idea of this. I'm not generally a fan of this type of pillowcase cover, the kind of, um, it's not burlap sack, but it kind of reminds me of a burlap sack. But I do like this for this one only because it's very simple and you can really see the pygmy puff. So I might put this one on my bed. Because it's Christmas, I think they did a really awesome idea here where in the box they include cards that you can send out for Christmas, little Christmas cards. And it looks like I got two of each type. So one of them is of Dobby and he is holding Oh, a stocking, and I believe the stocking has Dobby's name on it, but you can only see the D. And then on the inside here, it has a bunch of little cauldrons and then a blank space for you to write in. And it looks like, again, this is by artist Cantrell. Like I stated, you get two of them. They come with red envelopes to put them in. And then we got a second set. <gasps> okay, so I might be keeping these, at least one of these myself. It is a Niffler, and he is on top of, looks like a package, trying to steal golden bells off a tree that also has ornaments, a blue ornament, a red ornament. And again, on the inside, it has little tiny cauldrons and a blank space. And like I stated, you got two of them with two red envelopes. So you get a total of four Christmas cards. I think this is an excellent item for the box. I now have magical holiday cards to give out. I love it. Oh, so this kind of just fell out with one of those cards. Um, it is the Geek Gear Scratch card, and you scratch and you might potentially get a discount off. So I'm gonna do that right now. Give me a second. Sad face. It says no win, better luck next time. That's okay. I will wait till next time. So it looks like we still have one item, and it is another print. It says, the ones that love us never really leave us. In here, you can always find them. It kind of has this black background, and then it has this heart, and some gold and white accent colors. It is in a geekier exclusive. I'm not sure how I feel about this print. This is not my style of print. I generally like simple pictures or simple quotes. I think even though this is just a quote, I think it's a little too busy for me. And I believe that's it. I think the only thing left I have is my cheat sheet. This is the November 2019 Geek Gear Box. Um, it looks like all the items are exclusive for the Geek Gear box. The first one is the licensed Love Us print. The second is the snail throwing stone. Oh, that's right. The stone is the one that Hermione throws at Harry when he's in the hut. I believe that's in Prisoner Azkaban. The third is the festive artwork. So it's Harry and Ron with the snow globe. The fourth is McGonagall's brooch. That's McGonagall's brooch. I did not know that. I love that even more. I love McGonagall. Number five is the pygmy cushion cover. Six is the festive greeting cards by Kevin Cantrell. Number seven is the festive beanie. And number eight is the monthly tea collection. Oh, and it says basculus blood wild cherries. I think that is a typo because that was last month. So this is supposed to say the magical festivities tea. We have the YouTube spotlight, which is the wild Sasha. And next month's hint is Felix Felicis. Ooh, and it has a picture of Slughorn on there. What are my favorite items? This is tough. I do think one of my favorite items is the Niffler Christmas card. I love the beanie. I'm not gonna lie. I love the beanie. I'm a simple girl like to stay warm, Harry Potter related, Christmas related, takes all the right boxes. So I believe those are my two favorite things. Honestly, I like most of these items. I think this is a really strong box. Thing I think I liked the least was unfortunately this exclusive 
print. Again, I'm not as thrilled with this. I prefer the one that Kevin Cantrell did. I guess that is it with this box. Please let me know what are your favorite items, what you liked, what you disliked. Tell me if you enjoy watching me open Geek Gear or you prefer me opening some of the other boxes like I have done the Wizarding Trunk, Cherry Wallace's box. So please let me know what you prefer. And that's it, folks. I hope you guys have a great magical day and I will see you all next time. Bye!